cityscapes. And I love that contrast. Super solid buildings, fast moving cars all over the place. You can't pick between one or the other. And it's just, it's this horror show of an experience if you actually pay attention to it. And most of the time when I'm walking around looking at these scenes, it's I'm by myself walking from place to place, just sitting there while this like war is going on all around me. All these noises, things, lights, everything. And I think it's the most beautiful symphony when you freeze it and then depict it as a frozen moment of that violence. And so I think a lot of the violence while I'm painting, I mean, all that energy that's coming out of those brush strokes and throwing shit at the, at the panel and beating out of it. That's the only way you're gonna capture a city. If I could just count how many goddamn times I've painted a fucking car on a wet street, I'd throw up. But the fact that I now know the minimal information it takes to get that idea across in the brain, that is 10, 15 years of study into a two minute mark. Like that's the rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. Hit it. You know, there, there, aren't, there aren't any extra takes. If you missed, start another painting. It's that weird double-edged sword, it's that catch-22 that my life is painting and I paint the things that happen in my head. It's not like these things happen in real life. It's not, well, I guess it is kind of. Women do come over and get dressed up, but it's not like, it, there are so many stories that people have about my life that are not true. I'm like, I'll let that ride. I'm just painting my emotions and how I feel every day. But I, I, I think if people have this, this blown out of proportion idea of how my life is, where actually I'm just, I'm at home, not speaking for most of the day other than to my cat or to myself or through horrible depression and then horrible excitement of wonderful paintings and then sleeping and then waking up and going through the same roller coaster of life. When I'm painting the figures, it's, it's very soft, it's gentle and controlled with nice rhythmic movements and then the areas around it are going to be, you know, violent and aggressive. Because to me it's like, this is where the beauty is, the rest of the world, as you get to the outside of the canvas, as you're leaving the, the painting, that's getting into reality where it's gross and angry and ugly and I just wanted to stay in that little a little moment that I created, like, here's a beautiful woman in a peaceful, forlorn, sad, melancholy state. Back in the day, when women would dress up well, it's because their body shape is pretty much the most beautiful fucking thing on the planet. Their curves are meant to, naturally, attract men to make life. I mean, if you want to make it that basic. So when I look at a woman, it's like, you are a gorgeous creature with natural things about you that are fucking beautiful. And your curves, and I'm not, I don't mean like curves in the way that people think of, oh, tits and ass. I mean curves like the way that your ankle curves up to your hip, around your wrist, and up to your eyes, and where your eyes are looking. That sort of grace and elegance and power is a painting. I mean, women are paintings, they're meant to be painted. <laughs>